What's up, everybody? <laughs> welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome to episode one of a series that I am calling Gigantic Quest. If you have a better idea for the name of the series, don't tell me because I already ordered the art. Uh, but yeah, so this series, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be collaborating with a different VGC YouTuber uh, or a streamer or any kind of content creator uh, that wants to basically hop on. Like I sent out like a mass tweet, but yeah, we're going to be building around each Gigantamax Pokemon in the game, counting down to when Gen 9 drops. We should finish up just about before, you know, the game's actual release if we do two a week. So this week we're starting off with number one in the Pokedex, or number three technically, but the first Gigantamax, which is going to be Venusaur, and our guest is Colin Hire, aka The Battle Room. So go ahead, say hi. What's up, guys? Thanks for having me. All right, yeah. So, you know, I'm glad you could make it on. You're one of the people I reached out to first. I think I formally invited you, because I know I... Yeah, you did. <laughs> I sent out, like, a tweet, but I had, like, a priority list. Um, unfortunately, some people responded super late, so some big names that wanted to be on it didn't get on. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. So, uh, let's go ahead and just talk through the team before we get started. So, you know, we started with GMAX Venusaur, and obviously with GMAX Venusaur, you're probably going to use Groudon, but we ended up doing a dual weather team so if you want to you know talk through uh you know what we built here so of course starting off with the the gmax venusaur uh what do we got going on colin so obviously venusaur and groudon are like best friends but no i've used the venusaur all year actually at every tournament i've went or three of the four tournaments i went to and i use it with groudon on one and i use it with kyogre on another and so i wanted to do something a little bit more spicy so we added kyogre as our second restricted which means that Weather Ball is going to be a little bit more optimal and a little bit more cool, especially because you can switch the weathers on a whim if you're running the two uh, Hoenn legendaries. So that was the main thought process, and so we wanted to make Venusaur the star of this team and one that you're going to Gigantamax pretty often. So obviously Life Orb is there to boost our damage, Chlorophyll to boost our speed, and then just a pretty standard moveset. Uh, you know, you can't run Venusaur without Sleep Powder and Leaf Storm, and then Protect was opted just so that we could have a little bit more control on the battlefield. Yeah, like the rest of the team, we like have almost no Protect Pokemon, so we were considering briefly running Sludge Bomb or Earth Power, and then it just hit us like, hey, maybe, <laughs> maybe it's a good idea to run the best move in the game, so... Um, <laughs> But yeah, so next up, uh, Groudon. Colin, you also made this spread, but um, I remember we were considering White Herb or Assault Vest, and I think I told you that I would prefer White Herb, specifically just because I, I just like being able to take advantage of um, just that like free swords dance on Intimidate Mons. Uh, but beyond that, you, you made the spread. I honestly don't remember like what the spread does, though. <laughs> the speed is just to outspeed... Uh, most Groudons, but also more importantly, our Kyogre. It's mm -hmm. important, like, if they were to come in together, obviously we're not going to lead them. Well, I yeah. guess we can, but... Yeah, it's an um, option. It's, it's ideal to not have them, uh, have the Groudon be faster. It's ideal for it to be faster so that it always outspeeds so that rain goes up, because Groudon doesn't really care about Sun as much as Kyogre cares about rain. Yeah. And so the, the main point of the sprite is to just be a little bit faster, and then we hit the, uh, you get a bonus two points for the 156 attack. So that's mainly what the 156 is for, and then it's just kind of general bulk so that it can be as bulky as possible and do really sizable damage with Swords Dance and wider I miss Primal. I miss Dual Primals. That was so much better than, you know, running these two together, but still. Uh, you know, next up is the Kyogre. I think you said that this one was literally just, like, standard AV-ish Kyogre. I think we take a play rough pretty easily from Zacian with the 204-140, right? Yeah, we take the play rough. I believe we take two blades as well. And um, it was, like, Gigantamax, Life Orb, Regieleki, Wild Charge, Yeah, right? so we, we can take that if we're maxed as well, yeah. yeah. So that was the main The main focus, is just to be as bulky as possible. Just because we do have Eerie Impulse Thunderous waiting for us as the next Mon, so it, it does, the physical defense is a little bit more important on this Kyogre. But it's a pretty yeah. standard Kyogre, like Assault Vest Kyogre. Mm -hmm. It's also super important to be Assault Vest because I think the Calyrex Shadow matchup is a little bit scary sometimes, so having either Kyogre or Groudon vested is super important for this specific six team yeah and especially you know having that assault vest uh allowed us to run hyper beam rather than like some ice beam or whatever uh and i think that was like actually a pretty decent call in team building because just the for one hitting 
everything with just like a 150 base power max strike is super nice for like speed control purposes uh but just allowing the groudon to then outspeed other pokemon is like also just super important and we're not running like a fast kyogre so being able to take advantage of any amount of speed control that we could tack onto this team is really really nice mm. and then the thundy it just lives play rough from zashin and uh, beyond that, it's it's a very fun guy. You know, he's got Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave, Eerie Impulse for you know lowering damage output from opposing special attackers like Calyrex Shadow, uh, Kyogre. Uh, obviously, Rain Dance is there because even though we're running dual weather, there is going to be a situation once in a while where we have a Kyogre on the field that doesn't have Rain. Uh, and versus stuff like uh, Charizard teams where they're going to be relying heavily on getting in that Groudon after our Rain goes up to allow things to take hits, that just kind of lets us sneak in like a free KO once in a while. Uh, in the Insin. You want to talk about the Insin? Yeah, so this is the same Insinor I used at Nationals. Um, it's a very, very bulky defensive Insinor that takes a Sacred Sword from Zacian um, at, at plus one. So even if you're not in that optimal position that you want to be where, you know, they're at neutral, because every Insin can usually take it at neutral, but this allows it so that even if you miss position or Zacian comes in late game, you can still navigate yourself out with parting shots. That's the main goal of the instant. And then it's pretty speedy just because winning yeah. instant speed ties is always nice. A 94 is scary. I think the only thing I don't like about an instant this fast is that, like, you know, slower Kyogres will underspeed us under Trick Room. And that mm. that is scary. But beyond that, I do like just being able to fake out first. <laughs> uh, and yeah, the Bronzong, uh, this is just like a very basic Bronzong. I feel like Bronzong is like one of the Pokemon you can EV and have like just one Calc you need to live for it to even do anything like useful. So basically it was just for this team, this team doesn't like Calyrex uh, Ice at all. You know, like Kyogre can need a hit, uh, Incineroar can technically switch in, but it's going to get undersped and max quaked. Even though we have Shuka, it doesn't, or no, even if we had Shuka, um, it wouldn't care because, you know, unnerve. So we just calc it so it takes a modest max special attack uh, Mystic Water boosted Water Spout from Kyogre every single time, allowing us to get a free Trick Room off. Uh, and then in the face of like Calyrex Ice Riders, we're able to Iron Defense Body Press. And rather than running Protect uh, to be optimal, we're running Hypnosis to be fun optimal, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get into the games. Just realized that we should probably show you the code before we start uh, recording the battles. So here's the code if you guys want to rent it. Um, all the codes for this series will remain up, uh, hosted by obviously the person who I collaborated with, uh, until the game stops being played, I suppose. When, when, you know, Scarlet and Violet drop. So you'll be able to use this team until then. Uh, and the whole goal of the series is to get a catalog of all of the rental codes. Also in the description, you'll find a link to a Google Doc which will have every single rental code available for you right there. So yeah, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get the get to the All battle. Right. So uh, here we are on the ladder. I failed to recognize that I haven't played for two weeks, so uh, I decayed down about 2,000 points, but we're gonna deal with it. You know, this is this is like the average player's range, I would assume. Uh, so it's, it's a decent place to start. So yeah, All right, let's, let's grab some games. Colin, for the most part, since you're the guest, you'll be kind of in control. I'll just have some input. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. I feel like I, I like that like VGC's ladder has never quite been dead. This this series or not this series, but like this this game. Yeah, I feel it like definitely. In other games, you know, I feel like it just it's been so refreshing each uh, each time with the changing of uh, formats. Um, okay, so we got Ho oh, Groudon with Ryolu coaching. It's probably just, yeah, oh. it's probably just gonna be coaching spam. So I feel like Incineroar is like mandatory but i'm kind of concerned about thunderous being defiant i think we go like i would like to lead something like maybe like thunderous grout on um because i think that rain dance can be really useful um it's sh shutting down chirum kirum and mm -hmm. then uh i think it, we want to bring kyogre for sure here i just don't want to lead kyogre into thunderous that's like the only thing just because we'd be forced to max um and then I, I do like Venusaur as well. I, th I think we can bring bring the star of the show here. Yeah, because Venusaur has like, you know, we can max water weather ball a few things and Gastrodon won't think to come in on that. And when Gastrodon does yeah. come in, you know. Uh, I, I, by the way, guys, it, it, just for transparency, each episode we'll be recording four games, three games where we try to Gigantamax, uh, and play, but we'll play optimally. Uh, and then one game where I say, screw it, we haven't Gigantamaxed the star Pokemon, we're doing it. <laughs> so that's that's the goal here. <laughs> 
Because this game we definitely might max Venusaur, but we also like it. Like the, depends on the, if the if the Thunder shows up. Yeah, and what the Thunder is just gonna do to us as well. Like, because if it isn't physical, I mean, I don't know. That's the worst part about playing against Thunder, is right? Is you never know what it uh yeah which one it's gonna be. I'd imagine for this team it has to be Defiant. Like, what? Where else is your Intimidate deterrent? I do think the Defiant one is more popular and more used, but yeah, <laughs> you still never know. All right, don't All be Thunder. Right. Oh God. Okay, no, that's not the <sighs> worst ending. They're definitely just going to start coaching right away, I assume. Um, I think this could be a Swords Dance... Uh, a Swords Dance Thunderbolt, maybe, into Thunderous. Just so that we're putting pressure on it and we just say... Ryolu is just going to sit there and hope that, like, the... I kind of want to... I think doubling Ryolu might not be bad either, though, is the thing. I'm just a little bit afraid of... Uh, I guess maybe we could just Thunderbolt, but I don't want to max Groudon though, that's the thing. That's yeah. The only... So we can Swords Dance here and feel it out next turn. Yeah, and then we might have to. But I'm hoping that they like leave our Groudon alone potentially, or that we take the max airstream like well. But I don't yeah. know, we'll probably be a plus one because it is gonna coach, which is effectively kind of annoying. An intimidate, you know. But I do think that if we KO Thunderous, our two back Pokemon, Kyogre and Venusaur, just easily sweep. That's why I want to really prioritize it. Yeah. Yeah, it's physical. <laughs> I remember I, I was reminded of like a tweet that I saw the other day, like a tweet from like two years ago, and it's it's just like burned into my memory now because it was like VGC 2020 is a format where people are running things that we used to bully people for running. <laughs> and now like looking at like coaching Riolu, I'm like, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, maybe we're not maxing crowd on. This I is. I don't think we are. Oh, this is rough. Watch it be, it's, it's gotta be life orb. Okay, good. I was gonna say, if it's AV, we lose now. At the very uh, least, we're gonna get like two Thunderbolts off. Yeah, cause I assume it's gonna KO through Protect, so it's not even worth like, protecting it, yeah. right on. But I guess uh, maybe it is, just in case. Like, maybe we I think, live on a dream. Yeah, cause there's, they would have to Max Lightning to KO Thunderous this turn, and if we Protect this turn, Basically, my, what I'm thinking is, like, we stall out the Dynamax so he doesn't have anything to hit Venusaur, Venusaur for super effective. Yeah, yeah, because if we, we stall out the Dynamax, guy. Venusaur can go crazy here. Yeah. And we, we can just kill guy. it with Vine Lash, to be honest. Yeah, because it's not getting any special defense boosts unless we're running... I don't know, we're, we're facing Mud Slap Thunderous, if that could even <laughs> exist. Yeah, okay, right. perfect, perfect. We're not tanking. No chance. Uh, yeah. You want to max guard Venusaur this next turn? I think we have to, yeah. I think that's the best play. Yeah. And then I think we could still easily win with uh, with Vine Lashes and a Kyogre in the late game. I yeah. think we still can. We just need to remove the Thunderous, and that's it. Yeah, so I, I'm i <laughs> thinking... Oh, that was a crit. No, it wasn't? That's a weird roll. Thunderous didn't work. That, that was a weird roll, because last turn it didn't do nearly as much. All right, yeah, so we max guard here. Uh, you want to... I, I almost said like you want to T-bolt this, this Riolu, but... I don't even know. I think we could T-Bolt the real. Because if it's Sash, it's, it's going to be bad. Yeah, I don't think it's a huge deal. We can just max guard and T-Bolt. I think we'll be okay. Because I think Venusaur can still clutch this. If they like go for Thunderous this turn, it could be really bad. But I also think the threat of Venusaur is so massive that they can't really afford to leave Venusaur alone. Mm -hmm. it, it's one of those like really <laughs> crazy mind games like... Should we max guard? Should we Should we attack? Should we not? Yeah, uh, but I don't think that it I don't matters think too much. Yeah, and, and honestly, like, I'm glad we're running a bulky Venusaur, because if we weren't running a bulky Venusaur, like, plus three max wild charge would actually kind of hurt. <laughs> or not max wild charge, right? that doesn't oh! break it. Does that break it? Does that actually break it? No, okay, good. Oh! I have never seen that interaction, <laughs> so it scared the hell out of me. I have no clue, but they tried to punish the regular protect. Okay, good. They probably All thought, right. like, we were, like, Sash. Okay, so we need to kill Ryalu ASAP now. <laughs> yeah, we can just Thunderbolt it. It's a two-shot. Yeah, we should Thunderbolt it and probably just... <sighs> Actually, we maybe maybe we Vine Lash Riolu and Thunderbolt Thunderous, because we saw how much it did, like, non-maxed, non you know? Yeah, I'm just afraid that they'll protect, or they'll fly, and then... Or they'll, they'll sorry, they'll Wild Charge our Thunderous and just get the KO, which would be bad. But then the recoil would die with Vine Lash. Yeah, yeah, yeah just yeah. target Riolu. That's actually so okay. safe. Yeah. Because Thunderous is guaranteed to go down this turn. Mm-hmm. Like, if he, if he wild charges anything, it just goes down. Because yeah, it's yeah, too much. Yeah, exactly. Because life orb recoil and wild charge recoil and vine lash, there's no way he lives. So, he's yeah. Power, <laughs> he's power this of fly. Fine. This is fine. This is fine. No, no, you don't understand. It's power of fly. We saw life orb, but it's holding <laughs> the power of in its back pocket. Can Riley trick? 
as possible. Dude, I have seen Power Herb before. It scared me. Yeah, this is fine. They can have Thunders. They are going to Wild Charge. Check it. Dude, honestly, we're in such a good position. I'm just afraid of if Hill Groudon is the back. But Even oh, if yeah. it is, we, we max Geyser because I think... Oh, well... Oh, we could be slower. You're right, we probably are slower. Yeah. We should be. Because we're four right. speed. We do waste a Vine Lash turn this turn, but there are three Vine Lashes they're about to get slapped with, so that's yeah. good for us. Also, like, I don't, I don't think they can win. It's If it's if it's Hobo and Kyogre, they're facing Max Geyser and an Assault Vest Kyogre. Like, it's... I think this yeah. is probably a wrap, and if it's Gastrodon, we don't care. Because we lock, like... Oh, we don't have ice beam. On. We don't have ice beam. I just remember that. <laughs> we actually have to hyper beam it to death. That's but both scary. these Pokemon okay. have to right. take. Um, we are slower. Um, or faster. So both these Pokemon do have to take Vine Lash though. But I think we're fine. Yeah. Wait. Uh, who do you want to Vine Lash though? That's the question. I think we just Water Spout. Or, yeah, I think we can just freely Water Spout and Vine Lash uh, Gastron, and we'll feel pretty good. Like we'll yeah. obviously probably take a Blades here, but I don't think it matters just because. Uh, because we're too bulky. Yeah, and they have three turns of of the damage that they have to take mm -hmm. from uh from Vine Lash, so. Yeah, and this is life for Vine Lash. Even though we're running like I think it's like thirty six special attacks, sign like that. Um it, it's not max is the point. They're still gonna <laughs> take too much because the life or multiplier is nice. There's the protect, that's fine. Groudon is definitely A V if it's not protecting here. <laughs> yeah, and even Oh, oh it's a it Okay. I haven't seen Rindo in a long time. Where's the lefties on the team, then? <laughs> Big damage. Alright. He's gonna miss, by the way. He's gonna miss his P-Blades. Oh, he rock slided. Rock slide. Oh, he missed that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry about this. I think it only matters if he flinched us, but... Alright, you want a Hyper Beam? <laughs> yeah, we, we have to Hyper Beam. We have to hi Let's Sleep Powder Hyper Beam. We need to disrespect this thing. <laughs> He's probably gonna forfeit though. Honestly, like I, I prefer it when like if you're in a losing position and you're not playing a best of three, just don't forfeit because they might show you something funny. You can always play for the DC win con as well. <laughs> yeah, that's you know, it's optimal not to forfeit. Exactly. That actually happened to me on stream, like one time total, where they actually DC'd even though they won. I wasn't yeah. really like playing for the DC win con, but it happened. I've had that too. <laughs> probably had it a couple of times. I'm like notorious for having DCs like I won't DC, but like I've had so many opponents DC versus me that it like just became a joke. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, guys, I'm turning on my lag switch right now. <laughs> All right, we got the Venus or Max out of the way too. Thank God. Cool. All right, continue battling. And we only have to do that fourth game if we don't get like a Max, so we're done. We're done. All right. 700 points off of that, really? We're on our way back up. Yep. <laughs> I, I kind of wish I got like a second account to play this like exclusively for the series, but honestly. Honestly, though, it's like not worth it. Okay, this this guy's having fun. <laughs> um, there's no <laughs> copycat like trick that. room, and there's also no reason. First of all, if we had a snarl Pokemon, they don't like this. <laughs> Look at like the snarl food on their team, but we don't have that because we're throat chop. I actually think we can lead Groudon Kyogre. Like, yeah, I mean, like, what do they do? We can easily start pivoting if they don't lead Hatterene and Didi, but if they do, just water spout blades it up, you know? Yeah. Um, and if there I wasn't like, like a Giratina, I would actually be kind of feeling the, the bronze on here. I do kind of like bronze on, but I think we're leading so heavily into beating Hatterene that we don't necessarily need bronze on. Yeah. Um, uh, Incense, not terrible either, obviously. It is pretty valuable, especially because it is very physically defensive. So I think we should bring Incineroar for sure. Um, I think Venusaur is okay as the last. Like, we, mm -hmm. can, we can definitely Weatherball Lando. Um, Vine Lash goes kind of nuts if we need to, or we can just press Sleep Powder. Yeah. By the way, the uh, the art for the for the series still isn't done. <laughs> I, I it's it's because my buddy is doing it right, and he knows I'm not going to yell at him because it's like, yeah, I know you're busy. Uh, but I was like, hey, Michael, um, I, you know, I, I, the series starts on Tuesday, so just get it in by then. He goes, yeah, I'll be honest, Marcos, you told me that you didn't need it till next Tuesday, and I know I said I'd get it done in like a day or two, but it's that's what's keeping me <laughs> that I know I can put it off, and I'm like, okay, buddy. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. Um, take your bets. I'm going to say they're going to lead off Zoroark because they think they're cool. I think they're going to not lead Hatter and Didi. 
They're gonna lead Hatterene and Didi, but the Indeedee's not gonna have Psychic Train, and we're just gonna know. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we'll see Intimidate. No, we're not. It's, it's gonna be Zora. They made a bad choice. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that is Lando. Um, if we see pressure, we know that it's uh, Dialga, but also it's probably just telepathy. It could be pressure for like Max, like for uh, the weakness policy, but yeah, it looks like we're not gonna see it, or it's the slowest Dialga known to man. Yeah. All right, we got our white herb. Um, can I, can I tell you something that's like a bad idea, but I think would be very very funny? <laughs> what is it? What if we like swords dance hyper beam <laughs> or max strike? <laughs> We could. I I think like, I think Kyogre doesn't have to max though, because it does have the vest on. So I'm like not super worried. Well, my concern like, is like the air streams getting out of hand. That's true. That's true. So you, do you want to do the funny or do you want to do? Something I think we should course? do. We can do the funny. We can, we do, can the do the funny. funny. All right. Let's Hold on. It. Let me let me let my dog into my room because he's getting real upset with the fact that my door is closed. Give me a sec. <laughs> All right. Let me know if the funny works out. Okay. I think regardless though, like, they really don't have many options to deal with Kyogre. They are maxing tornado. I'm watching from across the room. Please be the Lando. Please be the Lando. Don't be Dialga, I'll cry. Ah! Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I think um, it's still fine. If they, like, yeah. actually attack Di uh, Kyogre, we're gonna take this hit so well. Yeah, like, it's, it's not that bad. And they're not pressure, so we know it's not weakness policy. Or they might just try to proc their weakness policy anyways and they just won't be able to because they didn't know. That's possible, yeah. Because they're hearing a dog panting. My dog's an old man. He is an old... I think he's like 16, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually pretty crazy for a dog. Yeah. He doesn't have any health issues either. I'm, I'm beginning to think he might just like turn into a fossil and start walking around. Oh, he U-turned. Okay. This isn't that okay. bad. Like, this is great. Because like, he, he thinks he the water moves coming. Yeah, oh, he it might... could go to Giratina, though. Oh, if he goes Giratina, I'd be real sad. Don't. Don't do this to me. It's not it's gonna be it's gonna be Giratina, but it's gonna be Zorak. It's gonna be Giratina, but it's Zorak. Check it out. It's gonna be Zorak. Watch. It's Zorak. I'm, I'm I'm certain. I'm coping. I'm coping really hard. It's Zorak. <laughs> Colin, please tell me it's Zorak. <laughs> <laughs> Colin, just say it. Just say it out loud, please. I think it's it's Zorak. It's Zorak. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I don't like that we're moving last. Can we stop moving last? Oh, I don't perfect. like it. <laughs> okay. That's actually a good turn. Come on, please be the Zorak. If it's the Is Zorak, it? we win. Like. <laughs> It's not Giratina, you're a liar. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, um, I mean, honestly, like, we're still good to, like, P-Blades, like, because at the worst, you know. I think, I think they'll probably Wormwind Groudon. Um. But we tank, you know. Yeah, we should be okay. I think we could just, yeah, yeah. And do we, like, probably... do we strike the, the Dialga? I think we might want to, yeah. Because, like, we're slower now. We yeah. could also Protect Strike. We could water move Giratina if Lando comes back in as well. I don't think Lando's gonna come back in. I think they like this. Yeah, then let's strike. And even if Lando does come in, we're still getting the strike off on Lando, so it's not too bad. Alright, let's see. He's not weakness policy, so this would do a decent amount. Oh, gee. Okay, yeah. Hold on. You know, when I, remember when I said decent? Like, that was a little bit of an understatement. That was some great damage. Alright, uh, that's a fair trade. I'll take it. Because now, it. now both of these guys are slower than um, Venusaur, which you know Venusaur is gonna be able to do whatever. And I think Dialga, Dialga's definitely in geyser range. So yeah, watch, watch him Phantom Force here. Watch him be like a bad set. That did more than I thought it would. Yeah, that's definitely geyser range. Phantom Force is a little. Well, we won't know which one it targets. It's targets. It's not like fly. Poltergeist. Oh, cool. Okay, that might hurt. Because that's Grisius Orb, yeah. Okay. How do you feel about we, just sleep powdering? I think we just sleep powder the the Giratina and then. Yeah. Because Lando can't actually like one shot Venusaur, and we can just fire a a Weather Ball off at any point. So. Yeah. All right. Let's go for the powder. Um. And yeah, and I like think the, we just Geyser, just to guarantee the kill. Yeah, and the item's known on the Giratina, so it can't be like goggles or anything wacky. <laughs> I think it's more scary when you when it's the origin for the like the regular one when you yeah. don't know what the item can be because like because you're like honestly let's be real it's weakness policy <laughs> let's be real it's, it's weakness policy dude I'm so excited for you know if Giratina comes back it's probably not gonna have to hold the uh, the orb 
Oh yeah, yeah. Because being able to orbs. run like yeah, like life orb variant of uh, origin would actually be so heat. I think it would be so much better if it could hold an item, just because, um, like the item's not bad, obviously, but getting levitate and stuff is just so nice. Yeah. All right, it's a dead Dialga, or a fainted one. Sorry. Gotta get ready for commentary. Yeah. All right, uh, the Dialga, it, it's dead. That's my commentary <laughs> right there. That's that's like it's my my top it's tier. It's murdered. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, obviously, you know, they protected there, so we did lose, like, a possible Sleep Powder turn. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of scared of the Lando coming in, because it's, we're going to be slower than it, probably. We probably are, but I think switching to Instant's totally fine, just because Intimidate is valuable on both these Pokemon. Yeah. I think, they might EQ, like, Poltegeist, but even then, I think we can just, um, I don't I know if Sleep Powder's better, through. or if Weather, I think Weather Ball should just kill, because it is in the rain. Yeah, and, and Max or anything. We did see physical, so there's a good chance they don't have a ground move on their Giratina because Earthquake just isn't a thing. Yeah. So I think so we I... just go like Lando and Weather Ball. Yeah. I'm excited to actually see Weather Ball do something. I haven't used Water <laughs> Weather Ball in like a year. It's definitely really cool for Venusaur, like especially like for like the big ones like Lando and Incineroar, like Weather Ball, it can be really, really huge um, at punishing them. And even if you don't have your own weather, you can just run Weather Ball, like, just because Fire Weather Ball is so good. But mm -hmm. sometimes if you play against a good, like, a Kyogre team, like, sometimes they're forced into a situation. Oh, they're trying to break Sash. Yeah, we don't have that. Earthquake. All right, okay. we're going to KO this guy. I think he might be Scarf Lando because he had U-Turn, and you just can't run that usually. No, yeah. Like, that's hard good to damage. tack on. That's good damage. All right, check it. One-shotted. Maybe it's Bandit. That damage hurt. That's true. Like that was at minus one, and took yeah, a little bit more than. And I we're very like. physical on instant. That's that's that felt really strong. We're All not right. in like shadow sneak range, so there's a chance we might be faster than this thing. Oh, we definitely are because it got max strike stroke. Oh yeah, max max stroked. Yeah. Um, oh, um, do we care about trick room? They're probably gonna protect the hat arena if we're being real. Like they think we got sludge bomb. I think we should just sleep powder the um the thing for sure and then i think we could just go for throw chop on the hatterine yeah or onto girantina whichever one we think is more threatening because you have kyogre in the back kyogre uh, is vested and they already dynamax yeah let's let's focus let's focus the dragon yeah they're gonna shadow sneak that's my guess they want to shadow they, sneak they here. definitely are gonna sneak yeah because trick room is a little bit spooky because we did slow Ooh, down okay and yeah they thought we were right. bomb all right check it Oh, no. No! He didn't right. wiggle. Oh, he trick roomed with Giratina? Is that a thing? Or no, is our, oh, just, our Incense just fast? Yeah, it was It's Max Strike. Max Strike, too. All right, cool. All right, Stinky. Let's go ahead and just double down your other guy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, and Rain stops, so we can freely just Flare Blitz and Leaf Storm, and there's probably no way this thing lives. Yeah. Leaf Storm, Flare Blitz. I don't think it takes it. That's, that's Life Orb Leaf Storm. And we're Granted, like it's not unintimidated and instant instant does some good damage. I'm not Oh yeah, there's oh. no way. There's no way. <laughs> I forgot how frail Hatterene can be. It looks bulky on its stats, but its HP is so dang low. See you later, Hatterene. Alright, yeah, I don't think we lose this. Nope. Okay, because we still have Kyogre. And the, yeah, the max strike is kinda nice because now instant's faster too. Yeah. I love this animation. It is, it's way it's way cooler than it needs to be for a move that never gets used. Yeah, like I wish that Phantom Force had that animation, just so we could see it more. <laughs> Alright. I'm, I'm Oh we Phantom don't have Force. Ice Beam, I just remembered. I think it's fine. We can yeah, just just origin pulse and how much um, do we do chop. to him? Throw chop did yeah. like that much, so yeah, origin yeah. pulse into that's fine. Could probably even just thunder or water spout to be honest, but I and, think origin pulse fine. We can do that and, next yeah. turn if we need to. No, I was gonna say there's no chance he like gets any KOs this turn. Like if 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 we didn't KO this turn, we still outspeed with both of our mons. Mm -hmm. Alright. So we got we got one more coming down the pipe. Let's see what we can do. Alright. Uh can see new battling. I'm gonna guess twenty I forgot where we were at. Never mind, 1766. <laughs> I was gonna say like 2100, that's probably our rank. No, we were, we were literally already there. <laughs> All right, uh, do you think we're gonna face something normal or weird? Take a bet. 
I think this one's going to be a really standard, like, normal team. It's going to be Rinya Sun. I'm going to say it's going to be the exact opposite. Like, oh, something just no. dumb. It's going to be 4,000 is not good for me. All right. Well, this, okay. isn't, this isn't, you know. All right. Uh, I really, really like Kyogre. Not Kyogre. Uh, Venusaur this game. Uh, but I'm scared of Thunderous again. But this is one of those teams where you straight up can't tell off a preview what kind of Thunderous it is. I I think it's probably physical, just because it's probably like Trick Grimstar and all stuff. So. Yeah. Like I'm a little bit afraid of. Like I want to lead Venusaur, but I think we. I think we can lead Venusaur, and we can just like play into that. Um, also, it's really flexible. Bronzong goes kind of crazy here. Yeah, if like an Iron Max Defensor Quake, too. We could get some Max Quake boost going. It's that's over. True, that's true. Uh, what do you want to do on lead? Like, uh, do you want to do like Don Venu and then Bronzong Ogre? I think so, yeah, I think that sounds good. The only thing that I'm a little bit concerned about is Amoongus, because we're leaving our Goggles Mon at home, but it's probably not going to be that bad. I definitely think we could have opted for Incineroar over one of the Primals, probably over Kyogre. Um, Still calm over just... Primals, come on, come on. <laughs> the the Ho Hoenn Legends. The Weather Duo, because the third one doesn't matter. It used to, it yeah. used to. I did like the the little trio that they had going. I thought it was kind of fun when Mega Rayquaza was viable. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Look at this dude color coordinating his balls. He didn't lead a uh, the scary Pokemon. Yeah. Um. Wait, hold on. Let me think. He didn't have an Intimidate Mon, right? I think they had, had Incent. Incent. They had Incent, Yeah. I'm like, I looked at the Grim Snarl, but I didn't register an Incent. Yeah, there is an Incent. I kind of want to just go for Powder Thunderous and Quake the Zacian, because there's no switch in for that, and we still end up at neutral. I think that I think that's the move. I think that's what we should do. All right. And we eat this. We eat this pretty well. He should be scared of like Weather Ball on Zacian anyway, so I don't even know if he'd stay in. Okay. Okay, into Kyogre. That's fine. Yeah. Like, because we we have a very solid chance of taking a B Blade. With our with our Venu. Yeah, and then if we actually get the sleep powder off, like we can just start stacking up Groudon and win. Yeah, what was it? It was like sixty something percent chance to live B Blade, I think. And also if he doesn't switch here, you know. We just kinda take Sashi. Yeah, because if we actually can get the sleep powder off, we can just switch into bronze on next turn and just start going crazy with him. Yeah, he loses his answers. Yeah, because Zacian is like probably one of the better. Zacian Kyogre, these are the two. B Blade? That's gonna be on the right. right? That's gotta be a Venue. I think it ha yeah, it has to be. Check it. Live. Oh! Oh! Alright, connect. Please connect. Alright, no, I think we're good. He wiggles! Let's go! This thank is you. over. This Say is thank over. you, Mr. Wiggles. Everyone, everyone comment, thank you, Mr. Wiggles. <laughs> it's over. Quake Wasn't him. that like Elmo's friend? Was that like. Did Elmo have a friend named Mr. Wiggles? Am I thinking of it? Is that the right name? <laughs> I have I have no idea. <laughs> you know, if Elmo's I'm gonna look it up right now, because if Elmo did have a friend named Mr. Wiggles, Groudon's red. We're calling him Elmo. <laughs> this is Elmo and Mr. Wiggles. Hold on. Mr. Wiggles. Mr. Wiggles. No, apparently Mr. Wiggles, Stefan Mr. Wiggles Clemente was a street dancer noted for his popping skills. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Wikipedia. <laughs> All right, um, we can switch it out to bronze on. I think yeah, totally save because Kyogre hasn't even burned a sleep turn here, so yeah, it so cannot wake it. physically wake up. And then we just quake it. Yeah, yeah. That's just. I, I'm sorry. I look. I was thinking like, yeah, Mr. Wiggles. <laughs> that's 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 his friend. And it's like, no, Mr. Wiggles is a, is a street <laughs> dancer noted for his popping skills. <laughs> All right, never. You it know, definitely still, like sounds like an Elmo friend, not a street yeah. dancer. You know, I still like. I think I think Venusaur is probably noted for its popping skills, anyway. So we're good. <laughs> Did you purposely get this one in a different name or in a different <laughs> country just so it'd be Archid Dong? Yes. Okay, thank you for bringing the dong. It, it fits really well. All right, the worst case, like I don't know what they could do here, like because we, we even darkness. dodged their <laughs> worst case Max is Max darkness. darkness. Is, yeah. They're not doing that. But even, also, even then... I, I think the worst case is, like, Shookaberry and Cineroar gets to switch out and switch in. Yeah, but I still think, like, because we're of the rain, good. because of the, the Kyogre haven't... not burning a sleep turn, we're just, like, so set. I did a I lot did, of that has to be Life Orb, right? Yeah, definitely. 
Is it? Hold on, hold on. Wait. No, okay. Oh. All right, and it is Shuka. All right, this is the worst case scenario, but I mean, we pretty much revealed either Goggles Thundy or AV Thundy, and my money's on AV. He's going to be able to pivot that freely, out. I think we can freely trick room, though, just because our Kyogre should win at this point. And yeah. if they if they spend both their moves trying to KO Bronzong, that means they're not switching out Ensign with Parting Shot, which means we're killing Ensign, and then Kyogre just loses to Groudon at this point. Yeah, they're kind of they're so, kind of in a lock right now. Like they, yeah, there's we, no situation where we don't trick room here. Yep, and then we just quake because Parting Shot is fine for us because that means we get trick room up. There's and, no way you die to Flare Blitz. They'd have to like and, knuckle Flare Blitz. Yeah, and if they like knuckle Darkest Lariat or whatever, that's fine because that means Ensign's dead without ever intimidating us. So we should just win that way as and well. And Kyogre still didn't burn a turn. Yep. And we don't get intimidated. I think we might even lift this hit even if they go for the dark move. It's possible. Oh, we're still faster. <laughs> what? You have plus two? That's what is he roar? Is to... this roar Incineroar? Like, what happened? <laughs> we gotta look at their team. I'm thinking that they might be like Roar or like some weird zero That's speed. That's the only thing. logical explanation I got. Or they're zero speed. Like, well, we know they're Shuka, so they have to be like just like zero speed. Yeah. But even then, we would outspeed them by like one point. So I have no clue. I'm gonna say this is the forfeit turn, and also I want to hypnosis their their thunderous because it's very safe. <laughs> I think hypnosis rock slide is our well. Um. Nah, let's ignore I think it. blades. I think blades is better. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we, we Hypnosis Blades because we're mostly concerned with Kyogre here, like, the Thundee has no damage output versus, versus, on, uh, yeah. yeah, and, like, yeah, technically Body Press Blades is the play, but Hypnosis is the funny version. I think the true play is, like, Iron Defense Blades, but yeah, I think it's fine. Alright, there we go. Check it. Because we, I think next turn we actually, like, if we want to, okay. <laughs> it would have been, like, slightly optimal to switch out Groudon next turn, just, just, uh, for Sun, for our Venusaur later. Mm -hmm. But they forfeited. GG. Yeah. All right. Yeah. This was a this is a pretty successful one. Like honestly, like, you know, we took every single game. Granted, we started off at like lower ladder than usual. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. But obviously, you know, we got Colin here, so he's 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 making the shots. He's playing it right. <laughs> a ladder uh, warrior. You know. So <laughs> first of all, before before the episode ends, obviously, shout out to Colin. His links are going to be in the description down below. Uh, shout out to GMX Venusaur, shout out to Elmo, and of course shout out to <laughs> Stefan Mr. Wiggles Clemente, the street dancer and noted for his popping skills, currently 57 years old because he was born in 1965 and resides in South Bronx, New York. So yeah, uh, obviously, like I said, link in the description for Colin, link in the description for the uh, document where I'm going to be populating it with all the rental codes that you can use. But yeah, Colin, you uh, got anything you want to plug or say? No, just go check out the YouTube, go check out Twitch, I stream five days a week, but that's really all I got. Thank you for having me. It was fun to make a, uh, a Venusaur team that doesn't involve Zacian. Yeah, uh, yeah, and we got to use like Weatherball and everything, I'm happy with it. But yeah, thank you all for coming out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.